As many have anticipated, today I present part one of my custom Woody project. This was something I wanted to do for a long time but never really got around to. But in this video, you'll see a time lapse of all the progress I've made thus far on customizing my Woody to what I want it to be. Now before I get into it, I'd just like to state that this is not a tutorial and this is simply a log of my progress seeing what works and what doesn't. I would not recommend using it as a guide, but I hope it can technically help and inspire for those wanting to start to customize. Also, I'd like to state I'm no expert. This is simply just a hobby and me doing what I enjoy. Now before I get into it, again, I'd like to state some information on what I'm using and how I'm going to do what I do. So first of all, I'm using three Woody dolls for this project. The main base is the Disney Store branded Woody from 2019, which I personally think has the best proportion of any Woody put out recently. I'm also using a 2010 Playtime Woody from Thinkway, which I'll be using the boots and holster from. And lastly, a 2019 soft and huggable Woody, which I will be using the head, which contains that very sought after closed mouth smile. This part, as you can see later, was already on the doll. With a combination of all three, I think I can get the perfect Woody. I'll also be using some pearl snaps I bought on Amazon, some basic acrylic paints, and Mod Podge as a finish. Through this video, you'll see me disassemble the dolls, paint proper details, and glue and combine the parts. The final construction will be in the second video of this series. This is the first. Some things of note are that the plastic on the parts of Woody are kind of like a bit of a hard rubbery plastic type material. Now the problem is these are extremely difficult to paint, and as you'll see I had to coat these six or more times, then seal it with the podge. They still need some touch ups as of recording. And then there's the holster. Now on my take, I tried to give it a swivel element. Now I'll spoil it, as you see in the video, it doesn't work out too well, but I was able to fix it and you'll see it in action in the second video. Lastly is the cuffs of the arms. As you will see, the zip ties I used on Woody's cuffs were way too thick and ended up making the arms look awkward. Luckily, I was able to find some even smaller ties and once again you'll see it in part 2. So, without further ado, finally, let's get into it and remember, you can't rush art. Thank you. 
everybody.
And that's Woody so far. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you'll look forward to part two, where we'll be doing his badge, vest, head, and hat. If you've made it this far, I hope you'd consider subscribing as it helps me get this to do this stuff for you again and again. And the more subscribers we get, the quicker part two will come. So I hope you enjoyed and maybe this will inspire you to make your own custom Woody. For now, this has been Geo and I'll see you next time.